love an intense feeling of deep affection. What do you love most? Your family and friends? Your pet? Maybe your hobby? Have you ever wondered what a Pokemon loves most? Well, today we're choosing our starter Pokemon by only knowing what they love. And after we have a full team of six Pokemon, we're gonna battle. Oh my God, Dylan's back. Hi. Today, love is in the air. Absolutely. I love you. I love you more. I love Nintendo merch that you could pick up right now. Nintendo.shop, baby, pick it up. Do you want to go first or should I go first? I'll turn around first. I'll go and describe some, uh... Wait, let me open up my notepad so I can write down my starters. Okay, go ahead. The first Pokemon on the left absolutely is obsessed with the circus. <laughs> it's a reference to a, a movie. A movie circus reference, okay. The next Pokemon just hangs out at the junkyard. It's selling things, it's buying things, it's, you know, it's just chilling. In there all day. It loves the junkyard or it loves the act of selling things at the junkyard? Well, These it, are two it does, different things. It does all the different activities you can think of in a junkyard, it's done it. Okay, fair enough. And your last Pokemon loves Minecraft. Okay, I probably should have said this before you did your descriptions. If you can guess one of these Pokemon correctly, you can give it any ability you want. Typical Nintendo fashion, yeah. I would love the Garganackle. It is not Garganackle. <laughs> Okay, give me the uh, circus. The junkyard is Grimer. Loving Minecraft is Arceus because it's God. It creates things. Come on. You're really going to pull the Arceus loves Minecraft yeah, when, when there's created, a literal Pokemon that it looks like it was ripped out from Minecraft. It's like he's hanging out with Steve. The da, 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 is Heracross, and it is a reference to Bug's Life. You remember the little beetle in the circus? That's a pretty good reference, dude. I, for some reason, just kept picturing a monkey with symbols. I am going to spin around and show you your options, or rather tell you what these Pokemon love. Okay. Your Pokemon all the way to the left loves hanging out on telephone wire. So some kind of bird. You don't know that it's a bird. In the middle, it loves cream. It loves ice cream. It loves a nice hot Sunday, and it just loves to be cream. Okay. And then finally, this Pokemon loves, um, it loves to grow its facial hair. I'm gonna go with the guy in the middle, because you were stuttering a lot on him. I feel like it's something good. I'm gonna say Groudon, because it's in the sun drought. It's like a nice ice cream cone. So you're guessing that and you're picking that? Yeah. You're completely wrong. You got a milsery. God, that was the one thing I was calling. Like, Please don't be this. It's cream. And yes, I was stuttering because, I mean, what do you say about this little gushy cream thing? Anyway, on the left, you had a Kilowattrell and on the right, you had a Hisuian Growlithe. You know, he just loves to let it all grow. Oh, he does let it grow out. Dang. That'd have been cool. This guy on the left, he loves planes, but he's scared of heights. He wants to fly so bad, but he's terrified to take flight. Anything else you want to tell me about what he loves? Because I'm not getting a lot to work with here. I think that's great. He wants to fly, but he can't. No, yeah, that makes sense. What's the middle one? He sees your kilowattro on the, the lines. He wants to join him, but he'll die if he gets up there. He's scared of heights. He will be a water cutie. So it's a water type. Maybe. I feel like you're struggling staying on just the love aspect. <laughs> like, he'd love to be up there, but he would fucking die. This guy just loves Jello. Like, not everything about it, every flavor, sugarless, sugar, it doesn't matter. Right. He loves Jello. And I love today's video sponsor, Raycon. Raycon makes wireless earbuds that start at half the price of other premium brands. They have sold 3 million of their previous everyday earbuds, so you know they're a fan favorite. And yes, I said previous everyday earbuds. Because they just launched their upgraded model of the best selling everyday earbuds, which makes this the perfect time to try a pair of Raycons. The upgraded everyday earbuds offer everything you love about Raycons, and now they have even more features. They still have eight hours of battery life, and now you also get an ergonomic design, active noise cancellation, and multi-point connectivity that lets you pair with two devices at once. They're also available in a variety of vibrant new colors to complement any and all skin tones. These are my favorite color. I love the low-key stealthy look. These earbuds also have optimized gel tips for a cozy custom fit, and you can also wear work out in these because they are weatherproof, IP66, and sweat resistant. And you guys know I'm a very sweaty guy, so these are perfect for me. When I'm training in the gym like Rocky Balboa, I know my earbuds will stay nice and snug in my ears. Now is the perfect time to try a pair of Raycons. So click the link in the description box below or go to buyraycon.com original 151 to get 20% off your Raycon purchase plus free shipping. I'm gonna guess that the last one is a Reuniclus. 
Question. If it's in the evolution line, does that count? We normally do not count that, but I will let you decide being the guest today. I think it should count. It was the little one. So now that I guessed that right, I can pick any Pokemon that's there and give it any ability. You know that, right? I do know that, yeah. I love that about you, and I love when you guys hit the subscribe button. Pick the mer- Oh, wow. never mind. Sub, don't pick up the mer- Well, do both. You can do- Yeah. You do both. Yeah, why not? I'm gonna pick the one that's gonna die on the telephone pole with any ability. What do we got? I don't wanna deal with this. Okay, you got a Rookity. It's a Corviknight. So, any ability, Corviknight. Get it? Because he's a bird, but he's not electric, so he gets shocked. Yeah. Do you wanna hear what the plain one is? It's Slitherwing. <laughs> no, it's pretty good. I'm about to pop off. Here we go. No, this Pokemon all the way to the right. He loves music. He loves speakers. In fact, Expo. He thinks to himself sometimes, yo, why would I even buy a new speaker when I could just become the speaker? All right, sure. In the middle, this Pokemon, he loves moving marginally slow. He loves staying away from France because he will get eaten there. Definitely a snail. And then all the way to the left, I would say uh, this Pokemon loves allergy medication sector of the world because it's just giving a lot of people the sniffles because of pollination, of course. She feels bad, right? So she's like, I'm glad there is a sector what? that can help out with allergies. That is the worst description I've ever heard. You said the Arceus is from fucking Minecraft. <laughs> he loves Minecraft. Then he's this from. This Pokemon, it's pollinating everything. So it loves allergy meds so it doesn't hurt people. She's a lover. Is the middle one Ting Lu? Definitely not. But which one are you picking, dude? Yeah, give me the stupid Allegra Pokemon. It'd be great if I knew this thing's name. Lilligant? The regular Lilligant. It's got the flower on its head. It's pollinating. I actually feel like that one wasn't bad at all. I don't know why I'm being made fun of. She loves allergy medication. Oh, dear. There's no way you can make fun of my Minecraft one because you did a flower. When you're done watching the first half of this video, please comment down below which was the worst description. <laughs> I feel like it wasn't mine yet. Anyway, all the way to the right, the speakers. That was a Noivern. Oh, uh, okay. And then the middle, you had uh, fucking Slagoo. Die! I almost said it was Gudra. Gudra's a great mon. With any ability to, say less. All right, spin around, you little guy. Oh, okay. Let's see what you got. It loves honey, so it's a bee. There's other things that love honey. Bears, beets, battle, star, yeah, galactica. Yeah, there you go. Come on, sup. The next one loves drilling. Just anything, anything you can drill. What about the third one? He loves to go for a good swim. So any water type ever, right. That narrows it down. And it loves fortune tellers. So it's a psychic fish. Perhaps. I'm going to guess that the last one is Veluza. Dang it. Oh! I'm going to pick the one in the middle with any ability I want. You got Exadrill. Great Pokemon in Pokemon Rogue, which how have you been doing in Poke Rogue? I, well, I didn't lose to a Cramorant, so there's that. Don't do this to me. Give me a ring when you've won three times, bro. Spinning around. Oh my God, you got a shiny, bro. I got to make sure I point it out because when there's shinies and we don't point it out, comments go crazy. They're like, what the f***? There was a shiny and they didn't say nothing about it. This Pokemon loves to eat snow. Like that's actually just taken right... Don't look up anything. I saw you ready to <laughs> Don't do it. In the middle, this Pokemon loves Marvel movies, particularly movies with Loki in them, because this Pokemon loves to be mischievous, mate. It loves to be mischievous? And then finally, this Pokemon loves to slither around. It also loves Team Rocket. Oh, okay. The right Ekans and Arabog. No. Why did you say he loves Team Rocket? Because you'll see when I reveal it. Which one are you picking? I was gonna, okay, can, can you tell me this? I was in the middle. What was the middle description again? The middle was it loves Marvel movies, particularly the movies with Loki. Is it Zorark? You didn't pick one yet, but sure, I'll just give it yeah, to you. Yeah, that, that was gonna be my guess until you went, and it loves Team Rocket, Arbok, you know? I'm sorry, it's just simply incorrect, though. Just pick one, then I can reveal them all, dude. Yeah, I might as well just choose the uh, Zora because I know it. All the way to the left, you had a Snom. Did you know that, that Snoms love to eat snow? No, I didn't know that. The more you know. And all the way to the right, you had a the Viper. When, when someone says Team Rocket, they think of Arbok. Can I tweet this out? Arbok. Arbok. Ekans. Oh, there's one that says or Viper. Oh, oh, there we see. See, there we go. But guess what he put first? Arbok. 
Arbok! By the way, follow us on Twitter. Why did Glide just send me your tweet? He said, please tell me this is related to the video y'all are recording. Yo, what's up, bro? We're literally recording the video that you're editing right now that you just texted me about and asked about what Dylan tweeted about. That's how meta we get over here, dude. That is so meta. I'm turning around. This guy on the left, he loves kickboxing. You got that? I got it. This next Pokemon loves the mud. So a swamp creature of some kind. Perhaps. Maybe. Fun fact, my old Xbox gamer tag, Swamp Fish. No <laughs> way, Swamp Fish. Swear on my life with two H's at the end. The captain of the football team had a gamer tag named Swamp Fish? I wasn't good. I could get the crowd <laughs> clapping. Let me specify. The last one loves drugs. Maybe allergy medications. <laughs> See, it's what we call a callback in the comedy business. Well, what the f*** was the middle one? Uh, it loves the mud. Swamp creature. Okay. I'm gonna guess that the middle one is a mudkip. I guess I'm just good at this. It's Marsh Stomp. So. I'm pretty good at this. All right, W. And then I'm gonna pick uh, the drugs. Oh, okay. You got Breloom. Breloom with any ability, brother? Oh, I already know exactly what I'm giving this mon to. Prepare to be spored. Prankster. As I was typing it. What are my other options? You have any guesses? Hitmon Lee? Yep. All right, spinning around. The Pokemon all the way to the left loves Guitar Hero. Okay. Particularly the the one, it's either two or three, where you can play Barracuda. That's number three. Dum, 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 dum. Guitar Hero 3 loves it. Pokemon in the middle loves old school car collecting. It doesn't like the new age of electric vehicles. Not because he's against the environment, but because he'll be out of a job. Okay. Your Pokemon on the right, this Pokemon loves the Arctic. It also loves to float, even though it doesn't have levitate. It loves to mega evolve. Oh, Glalie. Is that your official guess? Can I see if I name all three of these? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Can I get every Pokemon to get a custom ability if I name all three? No. <laughs> what the hell do you think this is? Is it Bear Scuda? Number two, Cyclozar. <laughs> and finally, <laughs> I'm just choked in my water. <laughs> I was going to actually say Baroom. And the last one, I, I, I think it's Glalie. Pick one because you did get two of the three right. So I don't know which two that I got right. Um, guessing it's not Cyclozar. <laughs> no, it is not. Cyclozar was a crazy fucking guess. Give me the middle one. You got a room, yeah. You were right with the Barascuda. It was an Aracuda. And then the last one was indeed Glalie. Well done. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll think of a room. I can actually cook with him. Okay, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, let's see. I want to describe <laughs> these badly for you. What do they love, Dylan? What do they love? Yeah, our first Pokemon loves asteroid videos. Asteroids that hit the Earth or like our friend Frank? My friend Frank, asteroids videos. He loves to watch Frank's bit. Why? That's kind of neat. You'll understand. You'll understand. Your next Pokemon loves bread. So it likes carbs. No, it doesn't want pasta. It just wants bread. And your last Pokemon loves WWE. See, the bread, I, for some reason, I'm thinking Rotom, but there's no Rotom toaster. I'm going to guess the last one's Halucha. That would be it. That is a good one. It is not. All right, give me the bread. You got chocolate. He ducks bread. That's what they do at, like, ponds and stuff. All right. Misleading Matthew over here. You said this thing loves areas where there's allergy medicine. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Yo, comment down right now. What's worse, the ducklet description or the lilligant description? <laughs> I swear to God. So I got a f***ing swana? Oh, yeah. God. What was the other two? Ariados. Oh, yeah, because he's a spider. He's a bloody little spider. And then Imbor is the WWE. I think he's a kind of wrestling looking guy. Yeah, he does. He looks like he could uh, he could jump off the top rope. Yeah. All right, I'm spinning around all the way to the left. This Pokemon loves being number one. Mm. This Pokemon really loves being number. Sorry, one second. Never mind. He doesn't <laughs> like being number one. This Pokemon really loves Charizard's cry because it's familiar. What? Your Pokemon in the middle loves <laughs> twigs. Yo, come on, dude. In fact, he loves twigs so much that he actually wears a twig. Okay. And then your final Pokemon loves everything goth. If that's not Gothitel, I'm gonna be mad. That's my guess. You don't let me finish. You sure you want to guess that? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. That's correct. Yeah, that's right. It is. Well, Ron, it was the little Gothitel. Give me the number one one. That is a Rhyhorn. So the reason I said originally it's number one is because Rhydon was actually the first Pokemon created, and the Twig Pokemon was a Turtwig. It loves twigs. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, he wears he wears a twig, dude. <laughs> loves twigs. Just out of context, sounds so stupid. Skibbity boo. That is crazy, rude, disrespectful, and f***ed up on so many levels. Reveal my Pokemon, you rat that loves cheese. 
Your first Pokemon loves delivering mail. It's got to be a pigeon. <laughs> okay, all right. Your next Pokemon loves to stay home. Why? Why not? I, I don't know. Ask it. I, I'm just a messenger. Okay, right. And then the last one? Dance on the beach. I'm going to guess the one in the middle is a Snorlax. I would have said loves to sleep for that. Right. But uh, no. Okay. Give me the homebody anyway. I want it. You got a Toxapex. Get it? Because it's literally always in its little home. It's like a, it's a bunker. No complaints. I like that one. What were the other two? The, the delivering mail is Pelipper or Wingle. Ah, big milk, huh? It literally delivers mail in the Pokemon games. And then the dancer is Oricorio. I was going to say that, but when you said beach, I was like, nah, it can't be Oricorio. Well, yeah, it's from Alolan. It's a beach. It's from Alolan, yeah. All the way to the left, this Pokemon loves gems. I'm going to take you back to your childhood, brother. You load up Spyro. Mm-hmm. Nah, 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 nah. This guy's running around with a bag of gems. He's stealing the gems. It's a Selgor. No. <laughs> What? That's good though. That's what he looks like. The gems, bro. You should have paid more attention oh, to the gems. Same lie. They're identical. This is about love, Dylan, not about what you look like. They do. <laughs> Brother, they're the same thing. How has Pokemon not gotten sued yet, bro? <laughs> this is exactly what it looks like when Pal World drops a new pal. Literally. If that was in <laughs> I, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even flinch. Oh my god. All right, keep going. Okay, so yeah, that was wrong. Uh in the middle, this Pokemon loves the desert. And then all the way to the right, this Pokemon loves swampy areas. It just embraces the fact that it loves not having arms and that it loves to live in swamps and probably swim near lily pads and jump on a lily pad. So oh, frog. No. I'll just be honest, no. I would have still said the Selgor thing, even with those descriptions. I, I would have done it because I was just so committed. I, I actually don't even know if Selgor's in this game. I, I don't think he is. Um, nope, he's not. Give me the no arms. That is a whooper. Yeah. And unfortunately, you can't make that a Claude Sire because it's two different species. Two, two, it's not the same. It's not a different species. It's a different It's, it's different from the... Re now we're going to battle. What the hell is this helmet, dude? What do you mean? I'm just rocking out here. No, dude, I was going to say, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Wow. Excuse me? I thought I had illusion. But <laughs> <laughs> it was imposter. <laughs> this is a very, very awkward lead for both of us because this Pokemon really is just designed to set up spikes and get the hell out of here. Are six O's allowed? I mean, they're allowed, of course. I want you to do your best, brother. That's all I need to do. Are you that confident right now? Really? Creamy? Ain't no way, all bro. Right. All I gotta say is just watch out, buddy. I have a super effective move on you. Yeah, you do. But I'm not staying in. Mm. Would you go for Calm Mind? Would you go for Misty Explosion? Is that even a real move? Is it just a radical <laughs> red exclusive? I don't know. Here comes the drill. Acid Armor. Yep, 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 yep. That is a very, very good play. Unfortunately, it was not good enough. Whoa, you survived. That thing is one million percent huge power. Hey, Vinny, is it cold if we sleep? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sad I can't make this work now. What were you going to do with that thing? You had acid armor and what, like body press? No, he had stored power. But he also had an ability to where it reduced super effective moves. But you know what? I'm just going to do the little yoink and twist. Give me that huge power. Yo, stop, bro. But now you are poisoned. Yeah, but I'm scarfed, so you're dead. Your scarf? Yeah. I don't believe you. Come back, Drill! Dude, this is crazy. That thing is dead. Yeah, it's fine. That's exactly what I wanted. Sasharino! Are you actually Scarf? I don't know. Am I? We're gonna find out here. We actually won't find out because why would you not just go for Earthquake again? <laughs> Good information is good. I'm sweating. I don't like that you took my mom, dude. How can I take out this lily pad? I gotta go out to something that's fast. Yeah, who's got that lot and speed for you? Who's invested in speed? Come back, drill. Your scar. That is not true. Wow, you're getting rid of the lily pad, huh? Yeah, I'm saving it, dude. Oh, Allegra. Cause your scar going for EQ right here. It's entirely possible or it's not. Oh! oh! What's he doing? Terra Ghost? What, we got a Shadow Claw coming out? What? Oh, it's just Shadow Claw, man. Because I knew you were going to switch out, Dylan. Just what? kidding. I'm going for Earthquake. Yeah! How much will this do? A lot. That's crazy damage, dude. Why would you go out to this, though? Oh, no. Yeah, you didn't know I was Scarf. No, I did. I knew you were Scarf. I was second. 
Now you have no idea. Your scarf. You wouldn't have challenged my scarf mom with your scarf mom. Maybe I'm just that crazy. Maybe I'm just baiting you to thinking that I'm scarf. We're gonna find out here. McQueen. Oh, the air balloon. Let's see if you're scarf. I. It's not because I'm scarf. I just want to bring him back. Dude. Mm, valid. You go out to the dark night. Here comes the dark night. Either die hero. Are you living long enough to see yourself become the villain? Yep, 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 yep. Oh my god, the double shift here is insane. Are you deranged? Oh. We're gonna iron defense. I'm not the same battler I once used to be. Oh god, that's gonna hurt so bad. Never mind. <gasps> Yo, Corviknight's sick. I used yeah, to hate on this mod no, all the time. Whoa, why would you hate on him? He is broken. I just remembered I gave this Pokemon any ability I wanted. Flinch. No flinch. No flinch, no problems. Damn it. But it's okay, because we got the lefty, so I'm basically not losing any HP. Valid. Thank you so much for calling me valid. Yo, what are you holding? The King's Rock? <laughs> Dude, not, surely not a third. How about it? How about it? How about it? No, stop. Let me ask you a question. Do you have Serene Grace? Chill. All right, you just chill. Okay. I'm feeling pretty chill at the moment. Stop setting up. I Switch. promise you I will not set up again with this Corvin Knight. Goodbye. I actually wanted you to set up. You still the imposter mon. You still the imposter mon. Thank you. Now I'm plus four in defense and I copy your ability and I'm scarfed outspeed your whole team. That was the <laughs> best bait I've ever seen. By the way, you're not plus four. You're plus eight. I have simple. No, you don't. It would. You can't get plus eight. That's not even possible. Well, I'm plus whatever the hell the top is. Plus six. This is very, very bad. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Yeah, because oh, we're, we're both just. We're both just jacked out of our minds. Yep. And you're poisoned. I do have Roost. That's true. Yeah, so I copy your lefties plus get the scarf so I can do what I want. Wait, you get the lefties when you have imposter plus your own item? Oh, you get both boosts. That's preposterous. <laughs> you have the scarf? And also my defense can't go any higher. We just talked about this. I'm an idiot. Why would you have two items? Why am I believing you, dude? All right, the poison's not gonna rack either, right? Cause that's just regular poison. So we just gotta, we just gotta keep attacking each other. You crit. That was a crit. Oh. Nintendo not shot. That might be the biggest dagger of them all. No, that that might have been the dagger of the year. I'm not going to lie to you. Whoa. Wait, are you ghost? Whoa. Are you ghost? No, I didn't even Terra. Wait, what? I did not Terra. What do you mean you did not Terra? No, this actually just ruined everything. This ruined my wait, battle. Wait. I did not Terra. Wait. You did not click Terrasalize and it Terrasalized no. anyway. You're fine. I know I killed you, but I needed tear all my last mon. I can't tell if this guy has mind games right now. I don't know what the hell's going on. No, I swear I didn't tear. Oh, that is the misclick of the year. I didn't tear. Ruh-ro. That's what you're saying in your head right now. ruh -ro, Raggy. I'm pretty sure I just kill you with Earthquake right now. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's exactly what happens.